What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Spanko. Today we're here at the Upper Hand because we're actually going to be playing in today's locals. But today's locals is actually going to be a little bit different than your typical locals. What they're doing is they're doing a structure deck event because the Jack Atlas structure decks just recently came out. And essentially we're only going to be playing with a single structure deck the entire day. And first place gets a structure deck playmat, which is absolutely cool. It's one of those playmats that you don't see every single day and you can only get it at these promotional events. Not many stores actually host these promotional events. So it's kind of cool that Upper Hand is doing it today and we're only playing with a single structure deck which is very rng it's like that sealed format and i personally really like sealed format but uh, i know a lot of people don't i i personally enjoy it and i think today's gonna be really fun i know the deck by heart i've been in love with the deck so i've been practicing all the combos all that kind of stuff but i've never actually played it with a single structure deck three structure decks is one thing single structure deck that's gonna be tough so we're gonna see how we do today okay because i'm excited but it is pretty stressful all right, so here it is, a single structure deck. I'm gonna open it up real quick because uh, before local starts, I wanna have it sleeved up. And uh, I don't wanna do the full opening for you guys because I'm sure you guys have all seen this before, but just in case you have it, I'm just gonna sift through the cards real quick. Also, these have become significantly harder to open. That or I'm just bad at opening it. Okay, boom, there it is. We have the playmat in there as well. Let's get this opened up and show you guys what we're working with. Listen, the cool thing about this deck is it has a lot of one card lines. The bad thing about this deck is there's only one card of all of the one card lines. This is a one card line, which is really nice. Here's your RDA, Red Rising. I mean, these cards are pretty cool. If you get it set up Supernova or Calamity, that'd be insane. Bone Archfiend is insane as well. But you guys can see Red Resonator is actually really good. So is Crimson. So a lot of your one card lines are either your Soul Resonator and or your Crimson Gaia, which are both one card. And I completely forgot we have the Assault Mode package in here. This would actually be cool to resolve as well. Resolving a RDA assault mode the dangers in here yeah so we have a lot of cards in the extra deck we have a lot of cards in the main deck i don't know what half of these traps do so i gotta get reading i don't know what this does i don't know what this does i don't know what red zone does but yeah i, I gotta learn all these cards alpha's already sleeping it all up are you excited for today understandable all right guys the deck is shuffled up let's see what a first test hand looks like okay well we opened one card combo that's all that matters what else is in here? That sucks. That sucks actually a lot. Witch of Black Forest. Okay. I mean, we open one card combo. This is literally all we need. And if we just keep opening like this, we win. A few moments later. All right, guys, what are the odds? Round one is just about to start. And I ended up getting the buy in round one. I paid for a structure deck that I already own. To not even play with it for round one. And there's only seven people today. So it's, I think it's going to be only three rounds. So I... <laughs> I mean, I get the win, which is nice, but uh, this no, kind of no, sucks. No, no, no. I mean, we have two rounds. <laughs> Basically, we just have to go 2-0 then instead of 3-0. I don't know what I'm going to do, though. So uh, I guess we're just going to walk around and watch people play, even though I, I know why everyone's playing because they're all just one structure deck. And at this point, I'm just ranting because I really wanted to play. Whatever, we get the win. I have time to, like, play test and, like, test hands. And some of the test hands are good, but, bro, this deck can be so bricky. Like... Assault mode activated hand sucked. I opened Vision Resonator. And like you could you don't even want to activate this. <laughs> you you <laughs> it's bro, you, you legitimately have nine cards in your extra deck. So even if you do this for okay, let's just say pretend I did it for one. Uh, that's better, but it's like I get rid of everything. I can't even play then. Yeah, like it's, it's not playable. It's just so bad. It doesn't make sense. Alright man, we're going into round two, and this is literally the worst thing that could happen. It's me and Alpha against each other. How do you feel? I don't even have Pokemon in this thing. Uh, high roll. High roll's good. So going into round two over here, even though it's technically our first round of the day, this is round two, and you guys are going to see I'm able to open up the one card combo. If you have Crimson Gaia, you're pretty much able to end on a Supernova twice, because Supernova is not a hard once per turn. And in the Structure Deck Duel, that's just way too much to play around. You guys are going to see he has every extender in the world, but it doesn't really matter, because as long as you Supernova at the correct spots, I also had uh, the Fiendish Golem, which is really, really powerful, right? And as long as you get rid of the right cards at the right times, that's all that matters now you guys are gonna see i set up red zone and i'm gonna be going for otk here he's actually gonna flip the red zone himself but because i have the red zone to pop then he couldn't activate it right so we're going into game two now he has the one card combo you guys are gonna see that he's able to end on an abyss he could have gone supernova but uh i think he just chose that abyss was a little bit better of a line and so i normally summon my side reflector here and he ends up negating it with abyss i have crimson gaia though so i have follow up for next turn i just need to live a turn i also have a lot of trap cards set so at this point i'm just trying to live a turn and then bait out a abyss negate again because once the abyss negate is baited i have a soul resonator in hand for my next turn 
So you guys are going to see that he's going to be able to combo. Again, this deck has so many extenders. When it's able to go, it's able to go. He goes Scarlight here. He pushes for a lot of damage. Not enough for game. I activate the trap that summons two Resonators from deck. Hoping that he would Abyss negate it. Because then Soul Resonator is live. But he actually lets it go through. So once I summon the Soul Resonator, he negates it. And that's enough for me to lose. So going into game 3 here, the deciding game. I'm going to go first, but my hand is a brick. I actually am forced to use Extravagance. I do draw into the Vision Resonator, which is kind of nice but my hand is not able to actually make anywhere of a decent board so again this deck kind of breaks and this is why extrav is a problem as well because i activated extrav yes i drew my resonator but i ended up banishing my red dragon archfiend so off of my scarred dragon archfiend i couldn't actually do anything when it got destroyed and that sucks because at this point you can't really extend much further he you guys can see has so much cards so many cards to extend and just push for a lot of damage he goes for the otk line here i honestly can't play through it so he's gonna end up going for a game as you guys will see it's just way too much damage and i can't play around it andrew beat me fair and square he's in the finals now we gotta we gotta just hope he takes it home at least one of us takes it home right all right let's make it happen all right so andrew beat me fair and square um and we have one more round now first place gets the play mat so obviously i'm not going to be competing for the play mat but there's still not a top cut but i think uh first second and third get something so i'm playing for second or third which is nice if andrew ends up winning and i end up winning then i think i get second place because my only loss actually no i would i would get third regardless i would top right so i have to win our last round it was a great duel against andrew the guy knows the deck really well i feel like i know the deck really well as well but at the end of the day this kind of tournament is who draws the one card combo first right so let's get back in there and then i have my last and final round so going into our final round here, it's round three. I end up going second, but my opponent actually bricks and just passes. So I'm actually able to set up a full OTK combo board here. And the OTK combo board essentially ends on Scar Dragon Archfiend plus Abyss plus a Bane, right? So that's enough for 9k damage, a little bit over 9k. He actually ends up having Battle Fader, so I don't end up going for game, but his hand wasn't that great. So you guys are gonna see, he's gonna spread his hand out and just scoop it up. So we take our game one. Moving into game two here, he just goes first and sets the monster passes. He sets the Witch, which I attack into, but luckily I have the Fiendish Chain for the Soul Resonator, which he searches with the Witch, and he's not really able to combo after that point. So you guys are gonna see, I'm going Assault Beast Beatdown for a little bit, but then I'm able to set up a scarred red he ends up getting rid of the scarred red but i get to summon red dragon archfiend and that's enough to set up for a game so as you guys saw we ended up winning our last round which is really really nice there's still some time on the clock but uh the really cool thing was um playing these like one structure deck events it's really not even just about knowing the deck because i feel like i know the deck pretty well it comes down to like how do you draw basically right because if you draw good you can play if you don't draw good this deck especially with this one like it doesn't have a lot of staples in it so you can't really do that much against a game against andrew andrew actually Actually ended up winning the whole thing so shout out andrew who's came first place he gets the play mat he deserves it but me and andrew have been playtesting rda a lot together because i'm in love with this deck and we both know the deck really well so really when it came to our round it just came down to he drew better than me game three because game one i had the combo and i won game two he had the combo and he won so that's literally what it comes down to with these kind of things but i'm still happy we went x1 obviously only three rounds but you know what two and one i'm not so mad this was actually a fun event very chill event you're playing with a structured deck you're having fun and uh that's what honestly matters the most i'm not even gonna show you guys a deck profile because it's literally the structured deck if you guys haven't already make sure that you guys like the video and subscribe to the channel so you can get more vlogs like this one on top of that if you guys want to see a full power rda deck profile i actually have that ready and uh, i'm gonna be playing it at locals after this because we're gonna have a real locals after this so i'm gonna be playing it then and hopefully i can actually showcase what the deck can do and also give you guys like a full deck profile and maybe come first place with it all right so thank you guys all for watching i appreciate every single one of you i don't know what's gonna be happening next so i'm not gonna end the vlog off just yet but uh we'll see what goes on first place andrew okay. yay andrew. Andrew. yeah i'm second all right we're getting back in the car locals is over congratulations andrew for uh winning the whole event and uh beating me my only loss was to you, brother. Granted, I had a round one by, so. Anyways, thank you guys all for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. Unfortunately, I wanted to show you guys the playmat that, like, you know, I wanted to show you the playmat, but unfortunately, they didn't have it. They said, uh, Konami sent them an email saying that uh, it's gonna come in a little bit late. So they took Andrew's number down and uh, they're, they're gonna call him when he uh, when he gets the playmat, or when they get the playmat, and then he can come pick it up. How do you feel, Mr. Winner?
I think it feels good. All right, thank you guys all for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. Make sure to like and subscribe. That's really all I gotta say. Shout out Jack Atlas. This was a fun event, I'm gonna be honest with you. And uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. I gotta say bye now. All right, Spango signing out. Peace. Get up, get up.